In the heart of Changsha, China, an audacious project promised to redefine skyscraper construction, Sky City. This 838-meter-tall marvel was set to become the world's tallest prefab skyscraper, boasting 202 stories and a construction timeline of just 90 days. Designed as a self-contained vertical city, it was to house 17,000 residents, schools, hospitals, and recreational facilities. The plan hinged on innovative prefabrication techniques, where 95% of the building would be assembled in a factory and then snapped together on-site like a giant Lego set. However, despite its groundbreaking design and potential, Sky City never rose beyond its foundations. Environmental concerns, regulatory hurdles, and mounting skepticism ultimately grounded this soaring vision. Meanwhile, Mini Sky City, a 57-story skyscraper built in just 19 days, showcased the incredible potential of these prefab techniques. If Mini Sky City could be built in such a short time, what went wrong with the world's tallest prefab skyscraper? Welcome to Sky City in Changsha, China, a project so ambitious it promised to redefine urban living and construction speed. In a country where rapid urbanization is the norm, this project aims to push the boundaries further than ever before. China's urban population exploded from 31% in 1995 to over 53% by 2013, adding more than 300 million people to its cities. The need for innovative, rapid construction methods was never more pressing. Enter the concept of Sky City, a 202-story vertical city designed to be assembled in just 90 days. The audacity of this vision captivated global attention. This wasn't just a building, it was a self-contained metropolis. With plans for 17,000 residents, schools, hospitals, and even sports facilities, Sky City was a beacon of futuristic living. However, the road to making this dream a reality was fraught with challenges. Initial plans were halted in August 2013 due to regulatory hurdles. The towering ambition of this project sparked intense scrutiny and skepticism. Could such a massive structure truly be built in such a short time frame? Experts questioned the feasibility, particularly the building's ability to withstand the enormous wind loads and structural stresses at such heights. Despite these doubts, the dream persisted, supported by a track record of constructing impressive structures at unprecedented speeds. Yet, despite all the grand plans and groundbreaking techniques, the project faced insurmountable environmental concerns. The Days Lake wetland, a pristine area and home to many rare bird species, became the focal point of environmental protests. By June 2016, the project was officially scrapped and the site transformed into a fish farm. But the story doesn't end there. As Sky City's dream faded, another marvel emerged in the same city, Mini Sky City. This 57-story skyscraper was built in a mere 19 days, showcasing the incredible potential of prefabricated construction. How was this possible? Sky City was planned to be an 838-meter-tall skyscraper with 202 stories, designed as a self-contained city. The concept was revolutionary, prefabrication. Instead of traditional construction methods, where materials are brought to the site and assembled, prefabrication involves manufacturing sections of the building in a factory. These prefabricated units are then transported to the construction site and assembled like a giant Lego set. This method was expected to drastically reduce construction time, with the entire project estimated to be completed in just 90 days. The construction process for Sky City was a blend of cutting-edge engineering and logistical planning. Around 95% of the building would be assembled in a factory before any work began on site. The prefabrication process was scheduled to take about six months. Once the modules were ready, they would be transported to the site and assembled rapidly. 
This method aimed to eliminate inefficiencies and delays common in traditional construction, significantly reducing labor costs and material wastage. Prefabrication also meant fewer disruptions at the construction site and reduced environmental impact. Sky City's design included numerous advanced features. For instance, the windows were to use four-layered glass to maintain a consistent indoor temperature between 20 and 27 degrees Celsius. This would make the building energy efficient, reducing the need for heating and cooling. The air inside the building would be filtered to be up to 20 times cleaner than the outside air, a significant consideration given China's air quality issues. Energy efficiency was a key aspect, with the building incorporating LED lighting and insulated walls to reduce energy consumption further. Safety was another crucial element of Sky City's design. The building would have 10 fire escape routes, capable of evacuating a floor within 15 minutes. It would be fire resistant for up to three hours, ensuring the safety of its occupants in case of an emergency. The structure was also designed to be earthquake resistant, with modular construction providing the necessary strength and flexibility to withstand seismic activity. The building's foundations were to be reinforced to support the immense weight and height of the skyscraper. While Sky City remained a dream, Mini Sky City became a reality. This 57-story skyscraper, also in Changsha, was built in just 19 days, demonstrating the potential of prefabricated construction. The project began in early 2015, with workers assembling the first 20 floors in just 7 days. After a brief pause, the remaining 37 stories were completed in another 12 days, setting a record for the fastest construction of a skyscraper. The secret behind Mini Sky City's rapid construction lay in its modular approach. More than 90% of the building components were manufactured in a factory before being transported to the site. These modules were then craned into place and assembled like a giant 3D puzzle. This method significantly reduced construction time and costs, with the entire project costing around $126 million. Mini Sky City was designed to be both functional and sustainable. The building included office space for 4,000 workers and 800 apartments of various sizes. The first 10 floors were dedicated to offices, while the remaining floors housed apartments, along with amenities such as a kindergarten, education center, restaurants, and even an organic farm. A unique feature was the Sky Street, a 3.6-kilometer route for cyclists that wound through the building. The building's interior featured 19 atriums, each with a 10-meter high ceiling. These atriums housed tennis courts, theaters, cinemas, and a botanic garden, providing residents with ample recreational options. The building was also designed to withstand a magnitude 9 earthquake, ensuring the safety of its occupants. Mini Sky City was not just about speed and efficiency, it was also environmentally friendly. The prefabricated construction method reduced the need for concrete, cutting down on truck deliveries and reducing dust and air pollution. The building's windows used quadruple pane glass, significantly improving energy efficiency and reducing CO2 emissions by an estimated 12,000 tons. The beams used in construction were made from quenched and self-tempered steel, providing the necessary stiffness and quality for such a tall structure. Despite its success, Mini Sky City faced some criticism. The modular construction method, while efficient, led to concerns about uniformity in architecture. Critics argued that it could result in cityscapes lacking individuality and character. However, proponents believed that the method's benefits, including speed, cost-effectiveness, and environmental sustainability, outweighed these concerns. One of the key engineering challenges of building such tall structures quickly is ensuring stability and safety. Sky City was designed with a robust structural system to handle the immense forces acting on a building of its height. The prefabricated modules included steel frames that provided the necessary rigidity and strength. 
These frames were designed to interlock precisely, forming a stable and resilient structure once assembled. This modular approach also allowed for better quality control as components were manufactured in a controlled factory environment. Mini Sky City used a similar approach with prefabricated steel modules that were bolted together on site. This method reduced the need for on site welding, which can be time consuming and prone to errors. The use of high strength bolts ensured a secure connection between modules, maintaining the building's structural integrity. Additionally, the prefabricated floor slabs and wall panels were designed to fit together seamlessly, reducing the need for adjustments during assembly. The prefabrication process also allowed for the incorporation of advanced building systems. For instance, the HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems were integrated into the modules during manufacturing. This meant that once the modules were assembled on site, the building's climate control systems were already in place and ready to use. This integration streamlined the construction process and ensured that the building's systems were efficient and effective. The success of Mini Sky City demonstrated the potential of prefabricated construction on a large scale. It showcased how innovative techniques could drastically reduce construction time and costs while maintaining safety and sustainability standards. While Sky City never made it past the planning stages, Mini Sky City stood as a testament to what could be achieved with the right approach and technology. If you found this video interesting, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our future videos.